What's going on everybody? Uh, today is pretty exciting. I finally decided on an exhaust for my Triumph Street Triple RS. I have kind of, well not kind of, I have been agonizing over trying to find the right exhaust pretty much since I bought the bike. Um, I've been kind of seesawing too in between not doing an exhaust because it does sound really good stock. I just couldn't leave well enough alone and at this point, I've been pretty much hunting for the right deal for either a uh, SC project or aero exhaust. But at $829 for the factory aero exhaust, I think it's pretty expensive and really just a little bit overpriced. So I've been looking on eBay for a while and I finally found the right deal. So I jumped on it and it's finally here. So this was a new other uh, return on eBay supposedly it was ordered and uh, the person who bought it didn't like it and just shipped it back so I don't know what I'm gonna get actually I hope that everything is okay um, it's always a little sketchy when you order it off of eBay I feel like because you just you don't know what you're gonna get you might get a good deal and you might not um, but for how much I paid uh, I won't say how much because it was a really good deal and if this turns out to be the real thing um, well then it's great uh, but anyways it was a good deal um, so let's open this box and see what we got. Okay, so here we are. This is the Aero box. I didn't even know what it looked like in a box. I've only seen it uh, pretty much in the dealership in the display case. So I'm actually surprised how big the box is. Uh, made in Italy, that's a good sign. Looks like it was made last summer. Ah, this might've been the display one. Well, let's see what's in here. This is the moment of truth. I hope everything is in here and it's okay. And I hope FedEx didn't play uh, soccer with my exhaust system. Okay, so they use expanding foam, which is good. That means it wasn't going to be flung around too much. Looks like we have a new donut gasket for the exhaust, which is good. I was wondering if they would include this. It's still sealed up. Have a muffler. Hey, look at that. It's the right thing. It definitely is not used. The sticker, not the sticker, but like the protective film is still on the logo. I don't see any marks. One of my first concern when you get something like this is is it dropped? Is it you know anything like that? Actually, it just looks a little dusty more than anything. And I was worried that it might end up being the Euro 4 model, which, by the way, it's pretty funny. On the back side of the muffler, it mentions it's EPA compliant and it meets all the noise regulations. What a world we live in. Uh, but it does have a baffle you can take out. I will be taking the baffle out right away. And yeah. So at this point, I just got home from work and I'm commuting on the bike right now. So I actually have to wait for it to cool off before I touch it. And I think this video is going to actually span over a couple of days because when you install this, you have to let the motorcycle do an adaptation process. And for that, the bike needs to be stone cold. Uh, and I really, I'll just let it sit overnight. I don't know the exact parameters, but I'd imagine that uh, the water temperature has got to be pretty cold for it to activate that adaptation process. And I'll go over that later in this video. But yeah, super stoked. Uh, pretty lightweight considering how big it is. But I'm excited to see how this sounds on the bike. Everything is ready to go. Got the bike on a stand, got the tools I need. You need a 12 millimeter socket to take the muffler off. And to take the baffle out, you need a T30 Torx bit. And I already busted it, uh, <laughs> busted it loose. I already got this broken loose, but what's really interesting, I don't know if you can see this with a GoPro, this was actually tack welded in place, which is kind of crazy. You can actually see the tack weld on the bolt right there. I did not think that the American spec ones had a tack weld. So that must have changed at some point in production. My impression uh, was that these were always just removable. Um, so that's kind of new. I'm actually curious to see if this just comes out too. Oh no. Oh, that's awful. Oh, 
That just happened, guys. Success, you little jerk of a bolt. Okay, so that was a bit of an excursion there to get that bolt removed, but we did it. What a nightmare that was, actually. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Use muffler, anybody? You know, there's really like no weight difference between these. I'm not entirely surprised, but uh, yeah, not really a weight difference. Uh, I'm going to leave that gasket because it's pretty good in there. And usually you can reuse these. Oh, there's the cat. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we'll just try and reuse that one for now. Before I put the muffler on, I have to do the obligatory start it with no muffler because that's just what you do when you put an exhaust on. This is exactly what you do. <laughs> Before you let the exhaust get too warm, it's good to take some rubbing alcohol and just wipe everything down really quick to get all those oils off. Um, at least on this section you're gonna see, and the rest of it's gonna get dirty, but. like magic it's the next day so uh, it's time to do the adaptation process this is pretty simple uh, the triumph manual states that the bike must be stone cold and I just let it sit overnight to achieve you know stone cold or just as cold as possible uh, you need to turn the bike on do not touch the throttle it's a big one don't touch the throttle and once the fan kicks on uh, then it just needs to sit for 12 minutes and after that it resets the adaptations if you have the diagnostic tool you can do this a little easier but I don't so we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way it's uh, 7 20 in the morning so uh, I'm, I'm really sorry neighbors but uh, gotta do this gotta go to work sorry <laughs> 
The adaptation process is finished. It took about 20 minutes. Um, I would say it was about 10 to 15 before the fan kicked on. And that's going to depend on how hot it is in your little area. It's cold morning, but... And yeah, so after the adaptation finished, it's uh, 12 minutes, like I said, after the fan kicks on, you don't touch the throttle. I turned it off and on again and cycled it, and now I'm riding to work. Already, I can say I'm extremely happy with how this sounds. It's just right. It's slightly louder than stock, not much, but what's more important is that it changes the exhaust sound tonally to be uh, more bass heavy. I think the factory muffler can be a little bit um, nasally, if you will, because it's just a stock muffler. This is just a little bit more, it's just a little bit more throaty, a little bit more fruity. Um, it's, it's really good. And what I like is you can still hear the air box, not as much. Um, so for some people who just like the air box induction noise, that might be a bit of a, uh, a downside. But for me, I like the... I just like the meatiness that it provides because it makes it sound like the sport bike that it is. Um, but I can't wait to open it up a little bit. And what's nice is the bike's already up to temp, so I will be able to uh, get on it right away. But yeah, already stoked. Uh, only thing I forgot about was the uh, wonderful smells that are a new exhaust. It's all kind of, well, it smells burny. That's the best way I can describe it. such a good blend of like tenor and bass and highs and it's still and it mixes so well with the sound of the air box it's so unoffensive that i'm shocked and this is brand new too when an exhaust is brand new it always actually sounds different and often is louder because uh, it hasn't had a chance to carbon up the uh, interior of it as a result of the carbon after you ride around on it uh, for a while it'll it'll mellow out and just not be as boomy and it's not even boomy already so um, I'd be fine if it stays the way it is but it'll be interesting to see how the tone matures over time that is barely louder than stock if at all You probably hear more uh, with a GoPro or a mic down at the muffler because with all the wind noise at that kind of speed, you don't even really hear it. Dear God, this is really bad today. It's usually not backed up on the freeway uh, on ramp like this. Must have been an accident. All right, I'm gonna stop talking to focus and uh, yeah, focus on survival with lane splitting. It's kind of nasty today. So I guess the big question is, what do I think of it? I think overall this is probably the best aftermarket exhaust for this bike other than a full system from say a Kropovich, but who wants to ride that on the street every day? I mean, you know, it's cool for like maybe a weekend only bike, but I really don't like having a bike that loud on the street anymore. And. I think this is just right. It gives you a little bit more volume. It lets you hear the triple motor. You can still hear the air box up top. And, you know, overall, it's it's well made. It, you know, loses a little weight. Um, it's pretty much everything you could want from a, a slip-on system like this. And 
maybe the, the only downside I can really come up with is it's pretty expensive. It retails for $829 right now. So perhaps you can get a better deal from your dealer if you bundle it with a bike purchase or something like that. But, you know, the reality of it is it's not cheap. And the bike does sound really, really good stock. I mean, this is one of the best sounding bikes out of the box. I've kept this bike stock for, you know, the two years I've had it. So to go that long without buying it is, uh, I think that's pretty impressive, especially for me. I'm always trying to tweak things. I'm always trying to find an improvement. And this bike is one of those rarities where it, it really is amazing just from the word go. And I can't say that about anything. Uh, I can't say that about everything these days. So I guess that wraps it up. What's next? Let's see. Uh, I have a track day coming up on October 14th with the Triumph San Diego guys and Moto Forza. So that should be a lot of fun taking this. And they said they might even have some demos. Fingers crossed there is a Speed Triple RS there to ride. I really want to check that bike out. Not to replace this, but just curious, you know, a little bit more displacement, maybe a little bit more fun. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, in the meantime, go ahead and check out some of my other motorcycle videos, and if you like cars, I do that too. Until the next one, we'll see you then.